continue just caught a little um a little uh bit of night line that I'm sure many of y'all know about the new Bob Marley new Bob Marley movie that is um that has come out. Um a documentary and I heard from some who have seen it that's pretty good and we just caught a little bit of uh of, of Ziggy's of Ziggy Marley um Ziggy Marley's uh, uh, interview on 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 Nightline. It was it was interesting. It's it's an interesting documentary, and you know, in the love of Rastafari, the love of the King of Kings and Christ Yeshua HaMashiach, we should pray for you know that family because that family is the first family. Yes, every family has its ups and downs and other situation, but we should well, first of all, we should be born again. When we're born again, then then truly we, we overstand these things and the message we receive amongst those and those. Yeah, there's issues that we might disagree with or, or don't like, but for the sake of His Majesty and His Christ, you know, we should pray for one another. And it was interesting when, when Ziggy said in the interview, he said, because part of the, he has a new song out, mm -hmm. and I think it's called uh, either Freedom or uh, the album's called Wild and Free, but the song might be called Freedom. Um, but speaking about freedom for um, the Kana Bolsam, or really in the sense of the marijuana, he also touched on the African American point that even Burhana Selassie, aka Bob Marley, overstood you know, the role that, that Judah or Yehuda, you also know, that Yehuda, this lost sheep in the Americas, play and, and, and have. In, in the prophetic equation of things, and it was uh, Burhana Selassie's um, um, spiritual um, being led spiritually, you know, saying to seek to make that connection, as you know, with uh, um, 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 uh, Stevie Wonder, you could, uh, yeah, Stevie Wonder, and with, um, you know, just coming forward here and making that link. And now uh, the enemy, you know, was saying, seeks to divide, you know, Binyam, Benjamin, and, and Judah, and all the tribes, you know what I'm saying, because their motto is David et impira, you know, or divide and conquer, you know, but, but we give thanks for that clip that we got to see a little bit of it, we want to check on the nightline and see if we can see more of the full, the full interview and everything, um, because we, it's quite a part where he spoke about how it's very important for the African Americans, you know, since to receive this particular message, the, the same buffalo, the buffalo soldier, you understand, and that's, and that's who I and I, I and I be of them, as ones in the Caribbean or Jamaica might say that my ancestors, the maroon, you think because these were the, like the Danites, you understand, those who, those who fought, those who were spiritually grounded, that they could really fight, and, and they are like the soldiers of Christ, right, and I think that point is very important, and when he said, um, when I smoke um, marijuana, mm -hmm, he said, I feel like reading my Bible, you know what I'm saying, or, or playing music, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> and he thought, and he said, oh, oh, you know, I feel like doing something else too, but he laughed, and then they immediately segue to, you know, his children, and his wife, and the whole family, and, you know, that's a, that's a royal family in the sense of Rastafari, you know what I'm saying, and we should regard them as such, and for other things, we need to be spiritually empowered to pray and to and to seek the guidance of how to um, restore, if we find that ones are overtaken in a fall, how to restore ones and ones. So I'm saying to the brothers and sisters, check out the interview, check out um, check out the movie or the documentary, mm -hmm. and tell I not what you think because Rastafari is a movement. So it's good to see that progress and that movement, you understand? And um, we've also seen how that links with what we're producing and what we are um, bringing forward right here, this particular lecture or, or sip cut, you understand, this particular sermon, or we can even call it a shi'ur or of the shi'urim, this, this lecture or this class that we're having in Ainai Yeshiva. This is Ainai Yeshiva, I'm going to call it more and more of that. Because now we recognize that link and what it really, you know, what it really, I just symbolizes. You know, and there's a symbolic to it. Because the Bible is not just parables, as some, as some say. 
you understand? But the Bible is multi-layered. You understand that there's multi-layered, and it's the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, that really guides us, you understand, and leads us, you understand, leads us into the fullness and the overstanding. So let's, um, let us go right here, right, and let us deal with chapter 6, right, chapter 6 of Ephesians, right, chapter 6 of the book of Ephesians, because Ephesians, some say it's like the book of Joshua, as, as we look at, uh, the, the books of the Old uh, Covenant, the book of Ephesians is as the book of um, Joshua in the New Covenant sense. And that means that it's now, we have to cross that river Jordan. Not now the river, the water, the water, the washing of the water of the Word, something in the pure in their own eyes, you understand? But they're not washed from their filthiness, they're not washed from their corruption. We didn't finish up on um, Proverbs. Because Proverbs is the basic foundation for the disciples. And tell your brothers and sisters who are also seeking discipleship or remind them, you understand, and show that example. Psalms, the daily psalms are very, very important. These are the foundation. The daily psalms are, are the number one foundation, you understand, as far as on the daily basis. Because there are those, remember, David um, was a man after Adoni, Adonai's own heart. You know, so we're getting to the heart, and it's at the heart chakra that we find that righteousness. And we understand the seven seals in man. You understand? It's at that heart level that we find that righteousness, and we get that groundation. We get that foundation. You know, and now there is a mystery, a mystery that comes out of Egypt and the Egypts. But we're not going to understand them until we get to the root, until we get to the hymenal. Some are trying to get, like, say, enter in through, say, Egyptology. But no, they have to enter in through Yeshua HaMoshiach. He is truly the Cherui. You know then Who is the true Cherui or the Heru or the hero? It is Yeshua HaMoshiach. He's the real hero. He's the hero of humanity, and this is a spiritual warfare. We're in a spiritual warfare, and there is a supernatural realm, if you, if you please. There's a real supernatural realm, a spiritual realm. And woe to those who lie against the teaching of his majesty. I, I say woe to them, especially if they, if they don't recognize when brothers or sisters just try to remind them that, listen, that's not what his majesty teaches. That's not what his majesty has said. His majesty not, don't read into his words. Don't add to the king of kings' words. Don't add to Nagus and the guest's words. Don't add to Abata Chin's words. Plain and simple. You understand? That's why the novice, you know, the newcomer, many of us have been on that novice level. And maybe more of us need to testify to it because you have other youth coming up and you might want it. You see the youth is doing some of the same things you did and, you, and you're trying just to school them. Not rule them. You understand? Know we're trying to school them and everything or share with them, you know, the teaching of His Majesty. And sometimes we do get puffed up. You understand? Know sometimes we have to go through great experience and great tribulation to really recognize. And if that is so, that's the mercy of Yeshua HaMoshim because He is the real Heru. You understand? He is the real hero. Remember, Moses was learned in the wisdom of the Egypts. Not just of Egypt, singular, but of the Egypts. But you can only know that on, when you get to the root. You understand? When you get into, when you get to the language, you understand? When you, when you get to the metaph caduce, you understand? When you get to that language. That's why certain books, right? There's the metaph caduce, right? Certain books, such as the one that we just published most recently, it's already here, the book of Enoch, right, the book of Hanoch, it speaks of that. And, and this was not known in the West. This was not known in the West, and even many had said, you know, many tried to say, yeah, so what? They tried to say, so what? Now they're seeing more things coming into revelation, more things being revealed in reality. And now many are running to it and saying, wow, how did they know? How did the ancients know? Really, they're asking, how is that knowledge in the Most High? How is that knowledge in our Black Lord and Savior, Shua HaMoshiach? You understand? Because that is the knowledge of the Holy. You understand? And in chapter um, 4, and we went over this before, you understand, of Ephesians, it talks about, it, it, it speaks about the walk and the service of the Mitmanah, the one who has Amen. 
the one who recognized that our main be Yeshua's name, Revelation 3.14, as in the Moshiach, as in Christos, and as having the, the spirit, having the menfets, having the spirit. Now let's go forward right here and begin this some our what men says can do so how do I'm not in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one the one God, Yahweh Achad, Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Achad, one. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. Overstand the context here. See, a lot of parents who are ungodly would take this verse, say, even the Bible says you're supposed to, but it says, obey your parents in the Lord. But many times we don't know those things, we're not taught those things. We grow up and then we begin to reflect and say, Oh, no wonder that did, that didn't go right right there. God's word is right, but that one wasn't in the right, it wasn't in their right, righteous mind. For it is, for this is right. For this is right. It says, for this is right. Verse 1 of Ephesians chapter 6. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. It's the first commandment with an expectation. Now, in the true understanding of the Christian way. The, 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 the Father is Abba, is the Father of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach. That is the Father. But we would not have known, here's the thing we have to understand too, brothers and sisters, we would have not known the Father if it had not been for Yeshua, right? And for Yeshua's words, which are spirit, which are life. You know, in the living word. But remember, the word was made flesh. And it dwelt amongst us. You know, and we beheld his glory as of the only begotten Bain Ha Elohim. So, th so this is important that even that idea of the word becoming flesh is supernatural. You understand? Which means it's spiritual. But let's understand the basics right here. Honor thy father and mother. So our father and mother in the Lord is the, the father, the word of the father, and that one who truly testifies to the Father, Yeshua HaMoshiach, right? And the mother is the church. You see, the mother is the fellowship of the spirit-filled ones. It's not the building. It's not the, it's not the building or the denomination. His Majesty teaches us that, you know, then in the, in the Hoffman interview. You understand? He does not put down the Ritua Hymenos or the, the Orthodox Church, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, but he says it goes beyond just a denomination. He recognizes this spiritual warfare right here that we are in. All right? So it's the first commandment with promise, with a hope or expectation, that it may be well with thee and thou mayest live long on the earth. Live a long time. Now, isn't this also connected with what we were saying about Abba Kedus, right, in the 120? You understand? That we might live long, right, on the earth. And so 120, you understand, is not an exceedingly long life, but for man in this present generation, it is a long life. So isn't that also an example, a manifestation? So one say, so what? You, you can see what spirit that is. You have to recognize, you understand, what particular spirit that is. So it goes on to say right here where we are, we had, we had long on the earth. And ye fathers, you know saying, ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. Right? Provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the what? Nurture and admonition. And admonition of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? That means of always keeping Adonai. You know what I'm saying? Always keeping Yeshua first and foremost, his word you know, and the spirit of truth, the spirit and truth of him. So the word is the spirit and the truth is that he's black, that he's an Ethiopian. You know, and that's the truth of him. This is why we have to remind you of this because the Antichrist has already, has already done much to convince one of the false image and therefore bringing in the false doctrine. This is how the creepers creep. You know what I'm saying? And the creeping coup against his imperial majesty. Right? So, so ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. 
the Holy Spirit want me to go here to the Amharic just so I can clarify for myself and also for the listener. You said if there's any major difference here, whether Ephes on Sawoch, Mikarah Sidis, it says uh it says uh Lijoch Hoy, Le Wala Jochachu, Begeza Tazazu, Yih Yemigeba Nowina, Melkam and the Yohan and the Yohan Lit, Ida Mayhem, the Midurla and the Arezim, Abatihina Inatihin A Kubr. Er swam ye tesfak ali alat fi tenyai tu a tizaz nat. Enantem abatoch oi lejo chachohun be gieta mekurna be tega shatsa asada gu acho inji. Atasa kwetu acho. And it was don't cause them wrath. Now, when you look at all the molestation of children and, oh boy, you know, um, and, 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 and this wrath that has come out, this, even the Satanism and Lucifer, a lot of them actually may have been in, like, say, the, the Romanist or Catholic churches, and they were abused, or through the daughters of Mystery Babylon. You know what I'm saying? So what, what Christ says has to be put, kept first and foremost. Servants. Be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh. According to the flesh. Right? With fear and trembling. In singleness of your heart as to Christos. As to the Moshia. Now, see, some folks take this and they, they make it worldly. They use this in a worldly way. It says, well, like, on a, like a lot of worldly parents would use this to get a blind obedience out of their children. So they'll they'll go to these areas of the scripture. You understand? And only some of the children later on growing up would, would, would be very conflicted because they might be learning the Bible for themselves, right? They might be learning the word for themselves, but then the example, you understand, the education, awareness, and environment has ill-prepared them. They're very ill-prepared for it, and a lot of us have gone through that. You know, we have to come to a groundation on this. This is why we have to know the teaching of His Majesty, and we have to submit ourselves to His will. But we have to do this willingly, make our wills obedient to good influences. You know, it's to show the, and to avoid evil, it's to show the greatest wisdom. In order to follow this aim, one must be guided by the hymenos, by the creed, you know, and by the foundation, the foundational teaching. All right, which are like the first principles. It says, not with eye service as men please. It's not doing just before people what looks nice or what looks uh, pleasing to people's eyes, but as the servants of Christos, doing the will of God from the heart. Not because it says, thou shalt not do, don't do, don't do. See, in the, in the old covenants like that, but in the new covenant, we do this willingly. You understand? We do this because we recognize the blessing and the grace, and we're empowered spiritually. You know, and that's it's hard for unregenerates or ones who have not been regenerated. You know, then to to know that. You know, because many of us did not know that when we were in the in the old man, when we still were wrestling. You know, saying with certain things. So it goes on to say, with goodwill, doing service as to the Lord, as to Adonai, right, as to Adoni, as to Gita, and not to men. So when I and I do this service, it's not like, oh, I'm trying to just please that person or please that person, but we're doing this service for our brothers and sisters as we'll be doing it for Abba, for Father, for Yeshua HaMoshiach in spirit and in truth. You understand? And that's what helps to keep one in that discipline. You understand? But they have to do it with their, you know, with their mind, with the fullness of their spirit, their soul, and then the body follows. You don't try to discipline the body first. Put, put, put the cart, you understand, before the horse, so to speak. It says knowing, knowing, not believing, not guessing, not assuming, you understand, not maybe, you understand, but knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of Adonai. 
So when we do good for other ones, you see what happens a lot of times when we're unregenerated or moving in an unregenerated spirit? We do some good for somebody and we expect them to show us a bunch of thanks, appreciation, and then we feel bad. And then we're, you know, we're, we're being deceived by spiritual wickedness, right, in high places. You know, not high and low. We want to we 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 tag that, you know, Sam right there, right? Um, it says that the same shall he receive of Adoni, whether he be bond or free. You understand? No matter what his status is in the world, you understand? Whether he's bond or free. You understand? Whether he's black or white or white or black or of this nation or that nation, it does, that doesn't matter. You understand? And ye masters do the same things to them, right? Do the same things to them for bearing threatening. So those masters, those who, because see, when many people um, they become born again, or or when they are converted, you understand? When they when they go through that Hebrew kind of process from low degrees to high degrees, and they are born again, they might be in a position where they're boys. You know what I'm saying? Like the like the one who wrote Amazing Grace. And if the story I heard of him is true, then then that you know, then I would repent some of the things I said when I found the guy was a slave master. Amazing Grace. He was like, look, I got these niggas and everything. But really, he actually went and, according to one version of the story, he went he took the, 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 the blacks that were to be enslaved back to Africa, and he really tried to make a difference. You understand? I mean, even to the point that his own white people were against him because he saw a new light of Christ. You understand? He knew that a new day was coming, right? So forbearing, threatening knowing that your master also is in heaven, right? Neither, neither is he, neither is there a, a, neither is there respect, rather. Neither is there respect of persons with him. So it really don't matter who you be. Some people say, well, yeah, that's wrong, but so-and-so is this and so-and-so is that. That don't matter. You see, when we do that, we basically choke off the grace you know what I'm saying? We choke off that divine power, that overcoming energy. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 even that power to get wealth. You know what I'm saying? Even that healing. You know what I'm saying? Even that blessing in the manifold ways that his blessings are to manifest for I and I, in I and I lives. lives. Because he has no respect of persons with him. So we, he says, be holy for I am holy. So through Yeshua HaMoshiach as that spiritual template, as that example, you understand? And walking out day by day, learning of it and practicing and perfecting. This is how we manifest the true life of Christ. You understand? It doesn't come so called just overnight. You understand? But it's a day by day and keeping our eyes beholding Yeshua, beholding Him in spirit, in the word, in the truth, and in the life. You understand? Manifesting these things. So now, that's the next bait right there. So we want to just touch on the next bait. It says, Body our Troy. Le Christos in the Mitte Tazazu, the Ferhatina, the Menketketa, the Labachu, Kinneta, the Shiga Getachu, Le Honu Tazazu, Ye Giziavi Herina Fekad in the Miyadurgu, in the Christos of Aria Wochinji, Le So Des in the Mitta Senu, Le Taita, Ye Mitte Mitte Gazu, Atahunu, Leso Saihon, Legeta in the Mitte Gezu, Be Tegatina, Be Bebo Fekada Tegezu, Baria Wocha Bihona Woyma Chawaso, Iandandua Yemia Dargoena, Melkam Neger Hulu, Kageta, the Diderata and the Akebelo. Tawak alachuna Enantema git toch ui Zachawin Titachu Indihu ader gulacho Bener suna benantela yemigazau Gita besamai in dale Lesoa fitema in daya in daya della in daya della Tawak alachuna so there's no partial, there's no favoritism. I said respect, 
They don't say, well, I don't respect nobody. No, there's no favoritism. There's not a fit. Well, well, so and so's an elder. Well, yes, they are an elder. But the elder made a mistake right here. You see, now, if that's a true elder, and one comes to that elder in the spirit of, of humility, according to what Yeshua shows us in his word and in the spirit, you understand? Then that true elder would receive that, would even love I and I for that. But if it's not a true elder, you understand, then, or that one is puffed up or whatever, or is a novice or, you know, an old novice or whatever like that, then there'll be a different spirit. So, see, it's even the spirit on that level that we're able to have discernment. Now, here is what we're, we're going to touch on the, the false, what is the false concept in the supernatural? There is a false concept in the supernatural. But we have to ask ourselves, well, what is this particular false concept in the supernatural. Now, first of all, it says there's a warfare of spirit-filled mitmanah. Those who are not spirit-filled, who don't have the iris, as you would say, the isla iris, they don't even perceive that. It's like one's on one, sometimes you try to show them, and they don't get that. Someone else, even someone who is not, say, Rastafari, might be passing by, and they even get it. And you look at them and say, wow, because you might look at the owl and say, well, you're not as Rastafari, but you got, you, you understand. And then your own one with locks or whatever like that, that even I tell, don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, about the, it's about the spirit. His majesty teaches us about that. He proclaims that in his utterance. The warrior's power. What is the warrior's power? What is the warrior's higher? Because Christ has already given us shilkan. He's given us authorization. Now he's given us the real spiritual power. You understand the real ability to manifest that spiritual power even in the temporal. You understand? It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord and in the power. Bekarawis, begetana, behailu, chilot, yeberetachu, humnu. Now, this is interesting because in Deuteronomy 8 and 18, <coughs> which we're going to touch on, y'all willing for the, um, the, the next the sabbatical, right? The third, the third reading in the book of Devarim, or Orit Vedagin. Um, 8.18 speaks about that we are to remember, like, like we remember the Shabbat, you know saying? Like we remember the Sabbath, the Sabbath, like we labor to enter into his rest. You understand? And we remember that it's Xiavia Amlakacha, it's Nibusa Negest Abatachin, it's the King of Kings, our Father, that gives us what? He gives us the ability, the Chilota, you understand, or the power in the sense of the ability, right, to do what? To get wealth. You understand? But this is all confidential. This is all according to the, to the Kidan, the Kal Kidan the word agreement. So if we're not in agreement with his word, then his spirit cannot fully flow with us. It may flow with us, but only as we are in agreement with his word, with his testimony, because it's not going to flow with us, but we're out of that agreement. You know what I'm saying? Because then it would be like the, the, the false concept in the supernatural. You know what I'm saying? Now it goes on to say in verse 11, Asara'an of Ephesians 6, 11, it says, put on the whole armor of God. The whole armor of Egezi Aviher Lotu Subhat, to him be the phrase, of Ha Elohim, of Hashem, right? Of Kedamawi Chayla Shilasi, of Haile Shilasi, the first of the first power of the Trinity, Egezi Aviher Av, that ye, y'all, we all, may be able to stand against the wiles, right? The wiles of the devil, all the schemes. All their schemes, the different schemes, there's conspiracy. And remember, we don't wrestle with flesh and blood, and that's about to come up next. So it's not about the flesh and blood people. The flesh and blood people who are either unregenerated or in a state of being overcome in a fault or like a, a stray, you know, and they don't even know. Many times we have done things in the old man. We were not conscious of it. You know what I'm saying? Even though we did it, and we have to own up that we did it, but we were not conscious of that because we was moving like the world. You know what I'm saying? Though we might have looked different, you know what I'm saying? Or was doing the, the, the like, Rasta things, we were in the fullness of Rastafari. You know what I'm saying? So remember that 
this is spiritual. It's dealing with the soul, psychological, but it's also the physical, the health in our body, the kena. So we have to have the kenama to have it. And then we have to have a healthy or sound word, sound, healthy doctrine, so we can receive that fullness of the authorization, the shiltan, as well as the chayil. You understand the chayil. And it's that chayil power of Kedamawi, chayla shalase. You understand that true power, but the authorization is first. The authorization is in Yeshua HaMoshiach. The authorization is in our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We have to overstand that right here. Now, this is, you know, we're not going to even get on that point because some folks will, you know, try to get on the race point and everything. That's the fact that he's black. You understand? That's a fact. Let's acknowledge that. Then we can really get into the spiritual level of the application. We can't do it fully or receive fully in that ignorance. Maybe in ignorance with none told ones, the Almighty is gracious. Where sin abounds, grace abounds much more. But once he brings forward one to now bring that evidence to you, that truth to you, he's giving you a mind, a heart, body, and soul, you understand, know for you to really, you know, for you to decide, but before you is a way of life and a way of death. So you have to choose. You understand, know at that point, we have to do this particular um, choosing. Like they say, the ball, in other words, proverbially, proverbially, is in our court. So it goes on, right, to say that, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against um, principalities. Notice how it says not against flesh and blood. Remember before about the flesh and blood? You understand? That we are members of his body, of his flesh, and his bones. We are members, so we're not, we shouldn't wrestle against I and ourselves. You understand? But we wrestle against what? What is that we wrestle against? against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness, that deep, deep, that triple darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, in high places. So let's go to this for a moment. It says here, Diablo sin, shin gela, to our muzen, in order to oppose it, in the chalachu ye egziabi herinna ikka tor hulu libes libesu. It says megadalachin our struggle, our our to God alone. A megadalachin ka demina ka shiga ga idelemina ka alekochina ka shiltanata gar. Kazihim, Kachelama, Alem, Gejochgar, the Samayawim, Sifra Kale, Kafata Menfesawian, Sharawit Garno Inji. Silezi, you understand? Silezi. All right, therefore, wherefore? Let's first just, just touch on this because this is the, the scope of this particular Shior, and, and Yah willing, we can get into more of that with the brothers and sisters, and also with, um, we're going to start out a monthly, if Yah will, um, kind of a call conference for, for, for different groups, because some are working on prisoners' project, others are working on certain different particular um, fields, and different fields, or in different operations of, of Yah's business, Yahweh's, and then maybe to have a general one for some questions and answers, um, so forth and so on. So we're looking for some of the brothers and sisters to take the responsibility of being, um, for lack of a, a better, a better um, like managers of these different, you know, you know, like one would manage the prisoner, the prisoner outreach, uh, call conferences. You understand, and you know, we'll be able to, you know, um, deal with each one. You understand, and each group accordingly, the, the different committees or or different ministries as they are. So, right here, we want to touch on spiritual wickedness, spiritual wickedness in high and low places. Some people say that there's spiritual wickedness in high and low places, but that's not what the Bible says. And when we read the Metaf Kedus of Nebus and the Gas, we don't find low places there. Remember, Proverbs chapter 30 says, and don't every word of God is pure. You know what I'm saying? We're not to add to them. 
you know what I'm saying, set high and low place. You know what I'm saying? Because when you understand the fullness of the way, the truth, and the life, the things in the low place that we trample on the foot, they come under the foot of the corporate body of Christ, of the Moshiach, which is the church, which in this time of revelation, manifestation, is the true and faithful Rastafari. You know what I'm saying? We as Rastafari, you know what I'm saying? We are members of one another. You know what I'm saying? But we're really members of His body, of His body. You know what I'm saying? So really that should be first before we understand one another. We're members of His body, of His flesh, and of His bones. You know what I'm saying? And we know that connection of the King of Kings with Yeshua HaMashiach. It's that same Ethiopian, that same Judaic, that same black Hebrew or Israelite flesh. You know what I'm saying? So let's recognize that. So we're not wrestling. We wrestle not against the Eucharist. You know what I'm saying? Or the, or the Shigawa them. You know what I'm saying? The flesh and blood. Right? So... We don't wrestle, but notice those who who, uh, who are unregenerated, they wrestle against Yeshua HaMoshiach being the Bain Ha Elohim. They wrestle against that. They're the ones who are wrestling against that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's interesting that when you look at this and how it's teaching it, we don't wrestle against this. It shows us what we're wrestling against, against principalities, against powers, right? Against the rulers of the darkness of this Arlem, against spiritual wickedness in high places. But let, let's hear the king. Let's hear the word of the king, right? And so I now will be acting as the Afe Nagusha Nagesh. You understand? Know you know the one that the one that speaks the word of the king, that speaks it in the tongue or in the royal and heart, but also interprets. You understand? Know also interprets. Yobas, and we, we would say you can take it to the bank, but until we establish the king's bank, you might not be able to get your full money's worth, but you still will get your money's worth. But you have to get it in the right currency, right, on the right current. So verse 12 right here, it says, For we wrestled not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Let's look at that particular um, a refta neger, you understand? Oh, that sentence there, right? It says, um, in Kutar, Kutarasara, who let says, Megadalachin, Kademena, Kashigagar, Aidelemena, right? So, our Megadal, you understand? Our Megadalachin, you understand? Tigal, Gedle, you know, our Gadal, Tegadalo, the struggle, you understand? Like, this is the contending. It says contend vigorously. Our contending, right, even about certain particular issues, is not against flesh and blood people, and it's definitely not against the Eucharist, you know what I'm saying, or the flesh and blood of Yeshua HaMoshiach. It's them who are wrestling against the saying that the Son of God, you know what I'm saying, saying that Yeshua HaMoshiach, that Jesus, Jesus Christ, or Jesus, uh, Jesus Christos, you understand, is not the Son of God and all this um, contradictory um, so-called doctrine or dogma or ideas or philosophies or opinions, ones are circulating in Kedamawi Haile Shalasi's name, in our Father's name. You understand? And that you, they are wrestling, you understand, with flesh and blood. They might take it personally, but we're not, because as his children, he, he is showing us right here that it's not against that, but what is it against? What do we wrestle or what do we contend with? It says, you understand? From the archons, the spiritual archons, the alakoch, you understand? But they, they, they also have their temporal, their temporal um, agents, you understand? Those who go to the dark, the unilluminated side. They call it black, but that right there is a trick. You understand? It's really dark magic. Not black magic, it's dark magic. You understand? The dark magic is the evil side of the so called occult or the spiritual. You understand? It's these other philosophies like emanation philosophy that His Majesty won so graciously, won I and I, the Rastafaria. Because some of us even touch on some of these things and we dabble with some of these ideas, some of the same ideas that we hear from ones like even Omar Tabaja on a certain level. We, we, we were there, we recognized that. And it was only when we submitted ourselves to His Majesty's teaching and began to study, learn, and grow, you know what I'm saying, and receive His testimony, to receive Yeshua HaMoshiach, 
You understand? As I and I, black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You understand? Then our understanding was opened up to us. Right? Then we started to learn and grow in the knowledge of the Bain Heart and Lohim, thereby becoming adoptive, you understand, um, sons and daughters. So he can pour out on us the menses caduce. But to the others, he pours out on them the fire, the wrath. His wrath is poor. So we're in that age of Aquarius. But it depends on what is your identity in, in, in Yeshua Ha. Do you have identity in Yeshua Ha Moshiach? If you do not have an identity in Yeshua Ha Moshiach, then it's that wrath from the so called dark side of the supernatural or the dark side of the force or the spiritual world. You open that you're in danger of. But we recognize that we have this contention ka alakochina ka shiltanat gar ka sultanat gar or with the authorities. And, and and this is why we point out this book once again, because this translation is pretty good when they were breaking it down before others try to do glosses. You know, there's a tra there are translations and there are what they call translation glosses. We're not going to get into all of that right now, but there's a way of interpreting, right? And this gives a pretty accurate interpretation, you understand, or a translation which actually interprets it. And then you have other interpolations, some of the later books of Enoch from the different um, theosophical and new ages out there. What they do is give interpolation. So I say that certain books, we should get the original ones, like say the the Kuvr and the Gas in the form of the Queen of Sheba and only some Minulik from Budge. It's not because I just like Budge or something like that. No, because I've seen the original text and read the original text and compare it with his translation. And I say it's even, it's like to the King James Bible, but it's even more accurate in more ways than the King James Bible. Are there areas that are questionable? Well, yes. You understand? But when I compare it to some of the new the newer books of Enoch or Kipper and the Guesses out there. The only one that gets a kind of exception, and I don't have it right here. I wish I had it to show the eye. We might touch on that in a in a in a in a, in a, in a separate. You understand? In a separate um, reasoning and everything. Um, and um, is is Berhana Selassie's uh, son Ziggy Ziggy Marley. That one right there is, is, is very, very interesting. You know, it's not the cover and the gas in that sense, but it's, it's, it's kind of an interpretation. It's like a revelation on, on that level. And it gives certain of the chapters and a kind of a, it's like a homily. We'll call it a homily. These things are not, these things are not bad. You understand when we recognize and it's presented exactly. Some might have thought it was this or that, and, and that is somewhat, um, um, understandable, but let's go on with what we're wrestling against. So we're wrestling. It says, "Kazihem uh, alam God." In other words, with this, with this world, um, with this world of this dark world of this of, of this dark world. But this is not the true world of light. This world we're in right 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 now is of Christ light. We're not talking about outer. We're talking about spiritual. With the gezoch. You understand? The Gejo is almost like the governors, the dominions. That's why that book right there, the book of Enoch, it helps to explain the greater context of it, which those who wrote the scriptures, you understand, the original version that were translated for us in King James and other versions, that's what they were looking at. But that, that is only preserved among the Ethiopic. So once again, to our root and to I and I, to I and I truth. Now it goes on to say, Be Semayawim Sifra Kale, that which is in the heavenly, and the heavenly Sifra, the heavenly, a heavenly place. Some say the astral region, some say the psychical region. Kale, Kakufat, the evil. This is the key. This is the evil. Mensasawiyan, in the sense spiritual. Spirit beings. So there are spirit beings, and it says Sarawit or Sharawit. There's a host of them. You understand? There's a host of, of, of spiritual. Um, what it says right here, it says, it says spiritual wickedness in high places, but um, it leaves out something. The translation in the King James leaves out something that the King of Kings 
he supplies this right here. And the key word is Sharawit. It's speaking about a host. You write a host. The Kubra and the guest. You know what I'm saying? The, the Ethiopic Kubra and the guest. And this is the 1893 that we've republished, right? Right? This one right here it explains exactly who they are. And there's so much that's being opened up right now that many, many ones are beginning to finally, you know, um, put the pieces together. You understand? But make sure that one is in Yeshua so that one is grounded or founded on that rock. So this is what is very interesting about this right here where it's showing that there is a, a evil, there are evil forces on the spiritual, in the spiritual realms. And what's so interesting about holy Ethiopia, I'm speaking about the true rootical and grounded Ethiopia and even many of their... Um, um, some of these texts here is that it actually once once you're building your house right, you can't build a penthouse before you um, found the square on the rock on the bedrock. You first have to do the square founded on the rock and find out what's the real you know what's the real rock the the bedrock, and then you begin to build. You know what I'm saying? And you can't build the, 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 the penthouse first, so you have to put things in order. This is what we keep going over. What is the divine order? Because it's almost like a one, two, three. Sometimes we know five and, and number three and, 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 and seven, but we don't know one, two, three, four that come before five. So we're trying to do it with pieces, big pieces missing. You know what I'm saying? And we're getting ourselves hurt, and we'll get others who follow us you know, or who listen to us hurt if we don't do it his way. So a lot of these other books also, it goes into very much more detail. Then you can begin to see spiritually how Ethiopia was able to maintain that integrity, you know, up to the time of, we can say, His Majesty, Kedemawi, Haile Selassie, because there was a divine purpose there. You know, and we begin to learn and to grow more in it. So it's not high and low places. That's what I want to really, I mean, yes, I've heard it, and a few times I've said it too. And then I was reading it, and the Holy Spirit spoke and said, that is wrong. That's going to get many ones hurt. You understand? But, and, you know, many ones are getting hurt by thinking in spiritual wickedness in high and low places. No, all the low places we trample on the feet. You understand? Me, we, knows what the low place is. You know what I'm saying? Notice what the low place is. If we look at this right here, the low place, because this is, you know, this could be word, you know, this is the word picture right here. It's in the red. You understand? You understand the right order of the chakra from the root? The red is at the bottom. You understand? And, and what's in the red? Three feet of the line. Three feet of the line, right? That's what's in the red right there, the three feet. You understand? So we trample all of that underfoot. You understand? And then through the lion, notice the lion is the second color. It's really the second color on this flag. Because the line now corresponds to the, what they call the ultraviolet. You know how a lion can see in the dark? The lion can see in the dark. That's the second color after the red, right? Then we have the yellow. You see what the yellow is? The yellow is the manifestation. The yellow is the visible light, right? The visible light of being able to see these spiritual truths now in the real world. And you see the green at the top? You see where the cross is? You see where the cross is in the crown? You understand the green at the top now, and see how that cross is very important. You understand the, 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 the cross of carrying our cross. You understand? That's why it says to mortify these things that are on earth. We trample it in that trinity, the Ab of the You understand now the Lion of Judah. You understand the Lion of Judah. You see that right there, how the Lion of Judah now is carrying. They said the secret of the lions in some of the Masonic... Uh, ciphers and stuff is under the paw. What's under the paw of the lion? See what's under the paw of the lion? The lion is carrying the staff. It's carrying that rod. You understand? And that rod, at the end of that rod is the cross and is the banner. And the banner is fractal in a sense. It's repeating that same that the lion of Judah carries that truth. You understand? Carries that truth as we, you understand, of his society, of his machidah, you understand? Of his, of his aggregation must also carry that. So you see the cross on the banner and the cross on the crown, you know, and these colors are very, these colors have a significance. That's why we should not reverse them 
and say that they are the holy banner. We have other flags in Africa. Well, of course we have other flags in Africa. You know what I'm saying? But we have to recognize what's the true flag, right, of Ethiopia, of holy. That's the flag of holy Ethiopia. And it's only the Rastafari, you know what I'm saying, who have been carrying this, this banner. You know what I'm saying? Carrying this banner because a new nobility. You understand? Know There's a new nobility, and it is of us. But we have now come into the family of God in Christ, that the, the true family of God. But we have to grow up. You understand? Know and this is the part of the growing. So it's not high and low places. You understand? Know but what is in there that is that somehow has been um, suppressed or hidden is the fact that it says, right, that it says um, host. Right, host, and it's this verse right here for those who are on the uh, Amara, you understand, or the Amhar Deraja, you understand, level. It says, um, 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 the Samayawim Sefra Kale, uh, Kufat, Mensasawian, Sharawit Gar, no, Inji, right? It says, it says, um, men from those who are in the, the, the heavenly or a heavenly place, a heavenly Sifra. A heavenly chakra. There is in that heavenly, um, uh, a particular heaven, one can say, right? Um, from an evil kafat menfesawiyan, evil spiritual host, or, 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 or the evil, or, or, uh, yeah, an evil spiritual host. It's, it's, it's amongst those that we are wrestling, but Yeshua HaMoshiach, <coughs> Jesus Christo, said that all power. Right in Matthew chapter 28, in heaven and earth has been given to him. Then in Acts, what do we find in Acts after the crucifixion? He tells them to stay in the upper room. You understand? And that upper room, you know what that upper room is, right? We talk about the heavens being the, the mind, the, the true spiritual mind. Well, that's that upper room. Stay in that upper room until the Holy Spirit becomes upon you. You understand? And the Holy Spirit comes like those cloven tongues. You know what I'm saying? Like those cloven tongues of fire. You know, that's why the word and the, the right ability to discern the word. Otherwise, you miss those things if you deep in on King James. And then you'll say, well, King, um, well, Hila Selassie first, I, I recognize that you was God. You know what I'm saying? Well, he said, why didn't you do my word? Well, I just didn't know the car. I was looking at the Bible and just the fact in the Bible. But he said, well, then ones tell you, then ones show you, then ones give you plenty of examples. Well, I, you, you, you know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't work out too well in that um, situation. Verse 13 says, Wherefore, wherefore, now because of this evil, um, this, 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 these dark or, or counterfeit or, or evil spirits on the supernatural, right, on the spiritual level, right, it says, Wherefore, take to you the whole armor, the entire armor of God. So when people read that, sometimes they're just looking at the outer armor. You know what I'm saying? And it's not saying to have no outer armor, but saying first thing first, right? First take to you the whole armor of God, right? And God is a spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. They have to be in the right irate, in Javites, as we say, Javites. Not what I say Javites, but he said, but what Javites, what Jah says his vibes are, and gives plenty of examples in word and in truth in the written word and in the manifested word, right? It says, um, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, to stand. You see, when this spiritual veil is ripped away, and may we all be strong in, 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 in the Lord and in the power of his might, that we will be able to, to stand and withstand. When we begin to see those things, that we cannot see, but but some who are sensitive, you know, you know, they can feel vibes, and sometimes we don't feel nothing, but what their vibes were, that they felt were came to pass, and and the whole word, sound, power, connection with that is very interesting. Please stay tuned for that as well. It's, and having them all to stand, it says, stand therefore, having your loins girt, your loins, and the loin is the back part. See, the, the, it doesn't say groin. In say groin, it says the loin is the is 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 the, is, is the um is what they call the sacral, the so-called sacral pelvis 
you understand, is that lower part of the back. That is one's lines, right? Girt about with truth. So having girt about, this area right here, girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate, right, the breastplate of righteousness, symbolically, you understand, and the one has the right the spiritual and truthful understanding, is that cross. The cross is like that which protects, in other words, the meskel on the metta, according to the uh, Ritta uh, Ita, I mean the Ritua Haimeno, or the Tawahido um, Church, or the true Ethiopic Church, is that cross, is symbolic of that. But when we look in the Old Testament, and in the Hebrew tabernacle, we see the breastplate. But the key thing about it, those are all word pictures, to the shadows to describe the substance. The righteousness is Yeshua HaMoshiach, to have Yeshua HaMoshiach at heart. See, when we have Yeshua HaMoshiach at heart, Yesus Christos Ketachin, and like that breastplate, and recognize in our heart. You understand? One has to mom men in their heart, and then um, confession is made. Then one speak, one have to amen, and then speak. Some speak, but they don't even believe what they're speaking. You know what I'm That's why they can't stand. You understand upon that because there's sinking sand, there's no foundation. You understand to, to unbelief. You understand or to a lack of the creed in this level of 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 uh, amen and and the innet and the ritua hymenot. And it says, and your feet shod with the preparation. So our feet and all these things have 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 more metaphysical. But let's just understand the basics right now. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of Shalom, the gospel of Salam, the gospel, the good news, right, with the good news, the when gift. You see, that's what we're supposed to be about in this time. It's the when gift. It's the good news. You know what I'm And there is such power and there is such victory in the good news. But what has happened is that the counterfeit Christ, you know has so wounded and fooled people, it says, the salam when get limp. The salam when gil. In the, in, in the, the when gil of salam. The when gil of peace or of shalom. So it's the gospel of shalom. Shalom in the Rastafari home. It says, verse 16, it says, above all, above everything else, taking the shield of faith. And we spoke a little earlier in the previous portion about the shield. You understand how the word is, 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 is a shield to all those who trust. You understand who have trust, who have amen, who have imnet, who have the true hymeno. The word is a shield, right? So it says, above all. This means it must be very important, right? Above everything else. You understand? Above all, don't forget. You understand? Above all, taking the shield of faith, of the imnet, of the hymenote, whereby ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Now, what are the fiery darts? Studying it metaphysically, the fiery darts manifest in their words, all the evil words they want to say against this ministry, all the evil words they want to say against I and I. But it is that ye imnatina gasha anshu, you understand? In other words, lift it up. Lift up the faith. When it says take, it really means to lift up. You understand? To lift it up. You understand? You might have it, say, yeah, I have it. I have it in my pocket. I have it in my jacket. You understand? But we lift it up. We, we, we bring that word forward. We speak that word with with faith, but first we have that Amen at heart. That's our breastplate, so it protects I and I heart, protects I and I vital, our vital organs, right? So it's the shield of faith lifting it up. That's how we're able to quench all the fiery darts. You understand? All the fiery darts of the wicked. Verse 17, to complete this portion right here, it says, it says, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, and take the helmet, so the shield is speaking about the shield, and it is speaking about, at this point, the helmet, Yermadaninim Ras Ur Ur Yemenfes Nim Seif Yazu Ursum Yeegazi Abiher 
Kal no. It is the word. And say it's the words, Kalat. And say it's the words of God. That means it'd be like the written words. Right? But it says it's the Kal. It's the Kal. It's, it's it's the logos. Right? It is Yeshua. Yeshua Ha Moshia is that word. Right? That word of God. His word. You understand? The living word. The the logos and the Rhema. You understand? So we can speak the the right word in the right season and demonstrate that authority, you understand, over all the forces, all these supernatural false concepts. But we're overcoming them in the supernatural, but with the truth. The truth. Shalom Rastafari.